Hey guys, I just want to show you a little variation I did on my braid out. Um, I put my hair into 15 braids last night and then rolled two braids onto a flexi rod. Um, I intended originally to use perm rods, but I couldn't find them and it was late and I didn't feel like going around searching in my house and waking everyone up. So I just used flexi rods. Um, so I'm just unraveling them here. I did this on dry hair. My hair was in a shrunken afro, so I detangled um, each section with a little bit of my leave-in, my Infusium 23, and I twisted with Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So that's really all I did. Um, I slept with this overnight, um, so about 8 to 10 hours later, and they're all dry, and they're really curly. To take them down, I'm going to be using some Tropical Traditions coconut oil, um, just about a dime size amount. Um, I'm going to rub that all over my hair and take them down. So I'm on my last braid, and I'm going to show you in real time how long it takes me to take each braid down. Um, it takes me quite a bit of a while because I braid all the way to the bottom, like the little tiny one centimeter hairs left at the bottom I continue braiding um, and I do borrow hair from pieces which I know is very wrong don't shoot me um, but I do it so I can reach the bottom of the braid and so when I'm taking them out I'm really careful I can't just unravel until I've unbraided like the last bottom inch or so so that's just what I'm showing you right here and when I get to a certain point, I'm able to just pull apart the braid and have it unravel as opposed to me undoing every single turn of the braid. Um, so that makes it go by a little more quickly, but again, once I get to the bottom, I'm a little more careful to separate without pulling apart the curls. So here I am, all finished. Um, and as you can see, the, putting the braids on the flexi rods didn't necessarily add so much curl but it makes it a little bouncier and I like that it gives my hair a little bit more shape than just a normal braid out. I'm just showing you the sides and the back. Now I'm just going to take my pick and lift my roots a little bit. I didn't separate my braids further because I wanted to keep the definition that I had so I'm just lifting to create a little bit more volume, but I'm going to fast forward through it because it's not the most exciting process. <laughs> okay, so now I'm all picked out and I'm just going to try to move around portions of my hair so it frames my face the way I want it to. I wasn't really thinking when I put the braids in, so I didn't section off my hair in such a way that it would lay the way that I like it to lay, which is like a side part. I know it has a slight side part here but you know it's not perfect so that frown is because i didn't like the front part of my hair so i'm just going to take a bobby pin and pin it down because it was still sticking up after all the moving around um, so I'm going to create just like a little side sweat bang thing and now I'm all done and I really, 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 really like the shape of my hair except for that one random piece that doesn't want to behave itself. But I like how it's kind of a bob. Um, it's not sticking straight out like the other braid out. So yeah, just tweaking up my method a little bit gave me a great result, an even better result than before. I also want to show you guys this really cute t-shirt a friend from school made. It says naturally cool. It's perfect for the summer and it's only $16 so I'm going to put the link down below for where you can find and order the shirt if you want one. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.